Hey guys, today we're making a new favorite of mine. This is a white chocolate mud cake. Let's get started. In a medium bowl that can handle heat, we're gonna put in a stick of unsalted butter. We're gonna add some white chocolate. We're gonna put in some granulated sugar, some light brown sugar, and we're also gonna add some milk. And we're gonna actually put this over a double boiler. So in a medium saucepan, I'm just going to put some water in there. I'm gonna put this on high heat. And when it comes to a boil, we're gonna place our bowl of butter, chocolate, sugar, and milk right on top. And thus you have created a double boiler. This is gonna heat up and we're gonna mix this up until all the chocolate is melted and all the butter is melted as well. And we're gonna get a very smooth liquid here, almost like a syrup. It's gonna be a bit on the thick side. And when this is all done, we're just gonna take this off the double boiler, turn off the heat, and we're gonna let this cool off for about 30 or 40 minutes. And while that's cooling off, I'm going to preheat my oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit and we're gonna make the rest of our batter. In a larger bowl, I'm going to put in some all-purpose flour. I'm also gonna add some salt some baking powder, and baking soda. That's it for the dry ingredients, back to the wet ingredients. In our cooled off chocolate mixture, I'm adding some vanilla extract and a little bit of lemon juice. You don't want too much in there because you know you don't really want to taste the lemon. It just adds a little bit of freshness to the cake. And the last thing I'm adding are three beaten eggs, and I'm just going to take a whisk and mix this up until everything is combined and we get a nice smooth batter. You don't want to over mix it, but you also want to make sure there's no lumps of flour in there. This is looking pretty good, and I'm going to take a nine inch baking pan that I've greased in line with parchment, and I'm going to pour all of my batter into this. If you've watched my other cake videos, you know this is my go-to pan, and I do like using this because, well, I only need one layer of cake. This is gonna be very decadent and very rich, so this is all I'm going to need. Once you poured in all your batter, tap out the air bubbles, and we're gonna put this into a 325 degree Fahrenheit oven for 40 to 45 minutes or until toothpick insert comes out clean. Let this cool off for about 20 minutes before taking it out of the pan, and when you put it on a plate, let it cool off completely while you make your chocolate ganache. In a small bowl, I have some semi-sweet chocolate chips and I'm pouring hot cream on top. You want this to sit for about three minutes before whisking it up so that the chocolate has time to melt. And once you start whisking, this will all come together. It's going to look weird at first, but as you keep mixing, you will see this will turn into a very smooth, chocolatey mix. And traditionally, this gets a white chocolate ganache on top, but since the whole cake is white chocolate, I felt that a different type of chocolate would help make sure this wasn't white chocolate overload, even though this is a white chocolate mud cake, but I'm also not looking to rot my teeth. Anywho, I'm going to put my chocolate ganache right on top, going to smooth it out, almost like a pizza sauce. And I'm not looking to cover the whole cake, just the top of it, almost like a Boston cream pie. And this is looking really, really good, but we're not done yet. Next, I'm going to take a bar of white chocolate, and I'm going to make my own white chocolate curls to go right on top. And if you want to see how to do this, I'm going to take a peeler here, the same peeler that I would use for potatoes or carrots or, you know, just vegetables. You want to hold one end of the bar with your thumb while the rest of your hand does the work, bring it towards you, go very easy, you don't want to rush it, and you will get perfect looking curls every time. And this is looking like a work of art, I'm very proud of how this looks. And once it's all done, your cake is ready to go. You could dig into this now if you wanted to, I wouldn't blame you, but I want the chocolate ganache to firm up just a little bit, so I'm actually going to put this in the fridge for about an hour, or if you're very impatient, maybe 40 to 45 minutes. But once that time is up, now we can actually take a slice out of this cake. And I've been looking forward to this all day long, let's do this thing. And once I put the knife in and saw how smooth this was going, I already knew this was going to be a great cake. But just because this looks great doesn't mean it's going to taste great. I have to make sure this isn't poison. I really care about my friends and family, and this is a grenade that I'm willing to jump on. Before I talk about the taste, let's talk about the texture. This actually came out a lot fluffier than I was expecting. I was thinking it was going to be a very dense cake. And while it is denser than your average fluffy vanilla cake, for something called white chocolate mud cake, this wasn't as heavy as I was expecting, and it was a very pleasant surprise. Now for the taste, yeah, it's terrific. You do get hit with that taste of white chocolate, but it's also a very strong vanilla flavor, which I really, really like. That chocolate ganache on top helps make this taste like a double chocolate cake, which it basically is. And this quickly became one of my new favorite cakes. I wanted to taste the cake just on its own without the ganache, and I think if a cake is good without icing, it's a good cake. And guess what? This is great without icing because ever since I made this the first time, I have made this cake a couple of times more. And yeah, I made it without the icing and it's just great on its own. So definitely try this out. It's not every day you come across a dessert recipe that's as quick, easy, and delicious as this one is. So please make this one for all you cake lovers out there. All right, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this one. Please remember to like and subscribe and I will see you all next time.